quick start video about using GMDE. The secret that allows GMDE to calculate all sorts of interesting things is the fact that users have easy access to the X, Y, and Z coordinates of any point on the ground, whereas many mapping programs just give you X and Y. I'm Rick Allmendinger, and in this video, we are going to be talking all about using topography in GMDE. Now, GMDE has two different ways of retrieving topographic data. When you first start the program and load in a new map, GMDE will retrieve the elevation of any clicked point from an internet elevation server. For example, in our standard shaded relief map here, if I option click or in Windows alt click any point in the map, like that, a dialog box will pop up showing you the elevation at the clicked point and some information about the datum and datum offset and so on. You can click as switch units by uh, toggling this switch here. And when you're done, you simply click OK. Now, for this to happen, what the program is doing behind the scenes is the following. A, it calculates the latitude and longitude from the X and Y coordinates at the click point. B, it then sends those coordinates to the selected elevation server. And then C, waits until it gets back from the elevation server uh, and then displays the information in the dialog box. And as you can see, that happens relatively quickly considering all that's going on behind the scenes. You control which elevation server is used in the topo tab of the inspector palette accessible from the Windows menu. Here under topo, uh, this pop-up menu right here uh, determines the elevation server. And in this case, it's set to the MapQuest SRTM elevation server. There's also the GeoNames SRTM server and two government servers, one for Canada and one for the United States. Since this map is in the United States, we want to use the USGS elevation server for two reasons. First, it is free, whereas both MapQuest and GeoNames are rate limited, and that is they will shut down after a certain number of requests from GMDE per month. And secondly, uh, the government servers are, have 10 meter resolution, whereas the SRTM servers have 30 meter resolution. Although retrieving an elevation from the internet is undeniably convenient and happens quickly, if you're doing a lot of elevation calculations, it can be quite slow. And there's some calculations that cannot be done at all. Overall, it's much preferable to download a digital elevation model or DEM ahead of time. GMDE can read DEMs in three different formats, ASCII grid, grid float, or BIL format. If possible, you should avoid the ASCII grid because the files are very large and inefficient and use either grid float or BIL. Let's load a grid float DEM into GMDE now. We go to the file menu and we choose read ASCII grid float DEM from the file menu. Now a grid float DEM is composed of three files, an FLT file, a .hdr file, and a .prj file. All three must be in the same folder, and they all must have the same root name, in this case, Ithaca East LIDAR. And you double click on the FLT uh, folder or uh, document. Now we've loaded that in, and as you can see, the elevation is automatically showing up now in the box in the lower left. But this allows us to do uh, a number of more interesting things and simply get the elevation super fast. Let's uh, now draw a topographic profile. We do this by going to the operations menu and choosing define topo profile and simply clicking a polygon with as many vertices as you want uh, where, where you want the profile to be. Notice I'm going to click here, and this is Forest Home Drive, and I'm actually going to label that. 
And then I can continue clicking along until I get to the end where I double click. We'll give it a name. We can call this AA prime if we wish. Click OK. And you can see that the computer has automatically resampled all of the elevations along here and, of course, kept our label. We can change the sampling interval by going to the inspector topo tab and using this slider. Uh, I'm actually using a LiDAR DEM, so I can adjust the point spacing down till it is uh, just a five meter point spacing. Uh, and you see these numbers automatically adjust as I change this spacing slider. All right, finally, let's show the topo cross section by going to the window menu and choosing topo cross section. And here it is. We can resize it and so on. Now we can adjust the vertical exaggeration with this uh, combo menu here. Let's make that, uh, change that to three. Yeah, let's make it four. And uh, you can see uh, over here that the distance and elevation of any point where the cursor is is shown on uh, the box in the lower left. We can save this as an SVG file, or we can come up here to edit and choose copy, and it will add it automatically put a PDF formatted version of the profile on the clipboard for pasting into any program that can accept a PDF. That's it for topography and elevations in GMDE, although there are lots more tricks you can do, and I hope this helps.